welcome to another episode of Healthy Tea Talk. Here we've got tea for every mood. I have received this question from one of our Yes to Health family and their identity will remain anonymous but the question was, Hi at Yes to Health, can the e-pill fail? My period is three weeks late and I'm getting worried. Well, my answer to you is yes, the emergency contraceptive pill can fail. The thing is that the emergency contraceptive pill is not 100% effective. Even the medication leaflets for the e-pills usually have this warning. I exploited some leaflets of popularly used brands and this is a leaflet for Postinor 2 and it clearly states that emergency contraception does not prevent a pregnancy in every instance. It has been estimated that Postinor 2 prevents 85% of expected pregnancies. Efficacy appears to decline with time after intercourse. 95% within 24 hours, 85% between 24 and 48 hours, 58% if used between 48 and 72 hours, and efficacy after 72 hours is unknown. It also gives a special warning and precaution that if pregnancy occurs after treatment with Postinor 2, the possibility of an ectopic pregnancy should be considered. Under menstrual cycle change, it states that if your period is late by more than five days or you have it at the normal time but is abnormal or if you suspect pregnancy that is feeling sick, nausea, vomiting, breast tenderness, etc., you should contact your doctor. All these warnings indicate for possibility of pregnancy. Leno2, another popular brand used, also has this warning in its leaflet. If your next menstrual period is more than five days late or is abnormal in any way, consult your doctor for a pregnancy test. It states that this medication will not always prevent a pregnancy. If you do become pregnant after taking this medicine, there is a possibility that the pregnancy will be ectopic i.e. occurring in the fallopian tubes rather than the womb. Again, another indication of risk of pregnancy. Okay. Let me just enlighten you on the three things that may cause your e-pill to fail. First, let's talk about timing. The longer you wait before taking it, the more it declines in efficacy. Research shows that the morning after pill can be 95% effective in protecting from pregnancy when taken within the first 24 hours after unprotected sex. Its efficacy declines to up to 58% when taken between 48 to 72 hours. This efficacy is further declined to less than 45% when taken between 96 to 120 hours. So according to these statistics, it's advisable to take the pill within the first 24 hours of unprotected sex for maximum benefits. Taking too long increases the chances of the e-pill failure. This is because when you're ovulating, you are most fertile and if you take too long to take the e-pill, the sperm may have already fertilized the egg. The e-pill only works by either stopping or delaying the release of the egg or by thickening the cervical mucus so that the sperm cannot count. It is not an abortifacient, so it won't work once the egg is fertilized. Another reason that may cause your e-pill to fail is obesity. Research shows that women with a body mass index of greater than 30 have a four times likelihood of getting pregnant after the e-pill use. Though this research is still ongoing, it's important for your clinician to address your family planning needs if you are obese to prevent unintended pregnancies in obesity as they carry increased risks of gestational hypertension, gestational diabetes, 
and even preeclampsia. If you are obese, since I don't know your body size, you can next time opt for an emergency copper bearing intrauterine device which is non-hormonal and more effective when used within 120 hours of unprotected sex. The third cause of the epil failure may be medication. I have a question for you. Are you on any medication? There are certain groups of medication which may increase the breakdown of and excretion of the epil in the body. These medications are scientifically termed as enzyme inducers. They induce or in simpler terms increase the metabolic activity of the enzymes involved in metabolism and and facilitate for excretion of the epil, resulting in decreased epil effectiveness. This includes the use of barbiturates, phenytoin, rifampicin, rifabutin, and griseofulvin. Cigarette smoking has also been found to reduce the effectiveness of the epil. Mm -hmm.